Sam Bull in the black and blue. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Alex Lahore in the black with blue trim. Referee Leon Roberts calling the action here. Nice left hand to start things off from Lahore. Bolt moving forward very decisively here. I'm going to crowd Lahore early. Bolt's the definition of a pressure fighter, Josh. He really does go out there and look to put it on his opponent from the first bell to the last. Yeah, he does. And once he gets hold of them, he, he's almost impossible to disconnect from. He just constantly drives forward, lots of pressure, really wears them down. Doing some good work on the feet here with the, the kicks. A lot at stake here for Alex Lahore. As you said, Josh, he had that bit of a bump in form, but looking to get back to the winning ways that saw him build up a pretty incredible run over the past few years in the European MMA scene. Yeah, as we mentioned, a lot of experience fighting and a lot of, uh, you know, very substantial shows and venues. Good work from Law mixing it up here, going to the body and back up to the head with those shots, certainly giving Bull a lot to think about. I actually think these guys are fairly even in terms of, of height and reach. That was a beautiful combination. Oh, a nice combination from the there. Yeah. He's caught up a few times. Oh, the left hand and then right behind him. The left found the mark twice, once with the uppercut that started this whole sequence off. And you see Bolt goes defensively to the rest of the lovely outside track. In Bolt's got the neck of the It was uh, almost a stepping kind of a Sota Gari. To sit Lahore down. Uh, he switches off to the, the uh, attempt at the double here. Watch your fingers, Alex. Watch your fingers, please. Watch your fingers. Well, a full way to autopilot there with those takedowns, but it's worked. It slowed the pace down. Lahore smelling blood there and just got a little bit too wild with his strikes for my money, Josh. Yeah, just, just trying to finish it perhaps a bit too quickly. There's a nice trick. And he's got a disconnect quick here. He'll scramble back to his feet, break those grips. Well, Bolt's going far arm here with this interesting grip to reach that left arm over the top. Gives you the option. Stop, don't move. Gum shield. Oh, they're just replacing the gum shield quickly. Fight. They call Bolt the snake, and it really isn't hard to see why. Fingers out the glove, yeah, fingers out the glove. He's, he's going to look to isolate that far arm if he can drag him down to the ground here. He's going to actually, I think, use it to pull him fingers out the glove. to his back. Very unusual position to attack from standing here. I can't see if he's trying to look up a figure four wrist lock as well. Bull getting the fight to the ground. Yeah, he just lost the grip on the way down there and he's pulled Lahore on top of him here. Perhaps not too unhappy about being on the ground underneath Lahore rather than being in the pocket with the big left and right hands coming his way. True, but he doesn't want to spend the whole last minute of this round on the defensive here. He's got a good half guard retained, he's got that underhook nice and high. That's exactly what he gets. Yeah, it's a perfect decision in, the, in this position. It allows you to frame it's exactly what you need to do defensively anyway. And then just slip off for that strike. One of the oldest tricks in the book. As soon as you saw those NCAA wrestlers transitioning into mixed martial arts, those push off elbows. That was nice work from Lahore to pull on the, pull on the tricep and sit Bolt all the way back down. I mean, Bolt did the hard work. You're getting back up to the post. He's had it all taken away from him. The whole right in his own corner now, so easy to take instruction from the corner team. He's looking to tie up the body of Sambo, but there's only 10 seconds left in the round. Probably not enough time for any 
think a consequence unless he can get a big shot up here. Time! Oh, and that's a great finish to the round for Lahore. I think he probably wishes there was another 30 seconds on the clock, right? Oh, him with us both. That was shaping out to be a fantastic first round of action. And exactly the kind of round that Lahore wanted as we take a look at the replays. He'd already rocked him by this point in that left hand like an absolute jackhammer. Yeah, that was the flurry and the, the punches came from every angle you could think of. Knocking the mouthpiece of there we out with a short uppercut there. Lovely throw. It didn't get him completely to his back, but it did open up the neck. And the ball looked as though he was going to have a really good sequence to, to get the fight to the ground there, but... Yeah, definitely a shot underneath the eye of Sam Bolt there, and a bit of swelling as well. Swelling's not too bad there, and the cut does seem to have stopped bleeding between rounds, so be interesting to see how that goes, especially if uh, Lahore can start targeting his head again. Oh, Lahore looking to pounce early here, though, Josh. Yeah, I mean, look, the left hand did the damage in the first, and with that eye swelling up, the left hand's going to be harder and harder to see. Not the back of the head. So Bolt trying to wrestle his way defensively out of this position. He's got, to, he's got to cut an angle here if he uh, looks to turn and sit out. You have to perhaps consider as well, Josh, that there may be some damage to the eye that we can't see that's affecting his depth perception here. And that's certainly going to affect Sam Bull's ability to both land shots and slip out of the way of incoming offense. Yeah, it's very possible. We're already looking to sprawl on top. I mean, I think he should just disconnect it. And throw some shots and then if you start getting uh, in trouble, disconnect and stand back up to the feet. Bull's got uh, one wrist out of there, he goes to sit out, anticipated by Lahore though. Looking for the knee to the side there, and Bull turning himself back onto the mat, Lahore very much in control here. Yeah, Bull's collapsed to half guard here, looking to haul that leg back in, he's got the left over the top, there he goes, sucks it back in, he's going to look for the left underhook, which he does. He has got to defend his neck here, though. I can't see the grip that Lahore's got, but he's clearly putting a lot of talking pressure onto the posture of Sam Ball. Tough to finish arm in from here, though. You do have to kind of move to mount to really put the pressure on your opponent. Interesting there from the corner team of Lahore. They're telling their man to keep it nice and slow. They don't want him rushing here. They don't want him making any mistakes. Presumably, they don't want Bull to be able to get any kind of reversal going here. If it's on the mat, they want their guy on top. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a very smart move. Clearly, that uh, you know they're thinking a bit of fatigue is setting into Sam Bull on the back of some of the damage he's taken. These shots certainly not helping. The corner of Bolt now asking for the man to get that guard working. He's got a butterfly in there, I believe. Yeah, it's hard to play this overhooks and butterfly game when, when you're this slippery in mixed martial arts. Oh, Lahore looking to step all the way over. There you go, Bolt's got the one elevator hook. He's going to look to kick up with the left leg, and there we go. Oh, good work from Lahore there to keep that position, but that's exactly what we talked about, Josh. Bolt able to change the tide of this one on the mat at a moment's notice. Almost as quickly as Lahore can change the flow of a fight with that big left hand. Yeah, I mean, Lahore's left bolt get in on a single here, so... See if he can earn the takedown. Bull's got two minutes to play with here, and... Oh, he's pulled mount. So unfortunately, he tried to... It's back in the head, Alex, that's good. Keep him clean. Keep him clean for me. The yeah, rubber's just warning for shot placement there as Lahore fires on. Fight back from there, fight back, fight back, Surely fight back. No. It's over. Alex the killer kid Lahore oh, makes his cage now. warriors debut and it's an emphatic victory over Sam Bull here in Birmingham. Really nice yeah. shot placement as well. Seeing some of the replays here, you've got to this kind of hard back position.
And they were landing very clean. I love that he didn't get carried away. He didn't worry over the top. He just very short, straight shots with the, with the same hand. And, you know, Leon Roberts left with uh, no choice, really, but to stop that one. It's intelligent defense is what the referee's looking for. And Bull really just curled up there, taking shots. Good stoppage for my money by veteran referee Leon Roberts. I mean, you can see just some of the scramble of Bolt kind of went out for a bit as we got into that second round and we got deeper and he took a bit more damage. I was really impressed with his positioning on top. To, you know, as you heard his corner say, slow down, make very smart defensive maneuvers to stay on top and strike when he needed to. And, you know, that was uh, that's the experience showing there. Yeah, Sam Bull back to his feet now as we throw this to our MC in the cage, Andy Friedlander, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Leon Roberts calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes and 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alex the Killer Kid Lahore. It's the Killer Kid with the big shots here in Birmingham. He'll join Andy Friedlander in the cage. Alex, after a performance like that, I'm going to encourage you to take off the balaclava so that these MMA fans can appreciate just who has put a beat down on that man over there. Many congratulations, satisfaction with the hands. Um, tell us about your feelings on that fight. All the fans can check me out on Instagram or social media. Number one is dead. Four more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, keeping it 